Um, now we have more information about a legal system getting a workout over a well-known dog. You could say that this dog is local royalty. He's Charles the Monarch, famous for his look, but infamous for reportedly running around without a leash around his neighborhood. Today, his owner appealed a ruling which found him guilty of violating a plea agreement connected with the case. Penny Your Side's Aaron Kelly now with more on this new information tonight. Well, an animal control officer testified that Charles the Monarch, also known as Charlie, ended up at the shelter four times. Today, the deputy city attorney said the owner just doesn't get it. Beloved lion lookalike Charles the Monarch will get to stay with his owner. A circuit court judge ordered Daniel Painter to pay $1,000 and do 40 hours of community service as punishment for keeping a nuisance animal. Animal control officers say since 2010, they've received seven calls from people who spotted Charlie on his own. The judge was fair. You know, it wasn't nowhere considered the dog would ever be taken from me. I'm just glad somebody with common sense stepped in and made a good ruling. In April, Painter pleaded guilty in a lower court for keeping a nuisance animal after a man says he found the dog off his leash. As part of the deal, Painter agreed to keep Charlie on a leash at all times when not at home, or the dog could become city property. But the same day of that agreement, our camera showed Charlie running around a Norfolk restaurant without his leash. That led to a violation charge. Painter appealed both to a higher court where Monday the judge tossed the violation charge, but agreed. Painter failed to care for the dog properly. Do you think you've been a responsible dog? Oh yes, very much so. Most people leave the dogs at home in a closet or in a backyard fenced in with a chain. Charles goes with me. He's a very happy dog. But four times, isn't that a, long t a lot of times for an animal to be going to the shelter? In seven years, not bad. You don't think that? Uh, no, not, not for considering what's going on. And now if Charlie ends up off the leash again, Painter would have to spend would have to pay $1500 and could spend up to 60 days in jail. Painter says that Charlie is a service dog that helps him with uh, his epilepsy and he says he's working to get an off-leash permit for the animal. Live in Norfolk, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.